So our only revenue stream in 08 was really about launching Kids Zoo 8 has been getting a minority of our users to pay for a subscription service like Club Penguin. Um, unlike Club Penguin, we don't really think that we have to only derive revenue from that. But anything we do, we want to do in a really, you know, the whole essence of Kazoo is being the best of the internet and not make the work. So, you know, dumb manners from non trust brands is really stupid for Kazoo to do. One of the things with Kidzui is we, we send a weekly email to parents with a digest of what each of their children are interested in. And we've gotten phenomenal open rates and interest from parents who love having that kind of window onto the soul, not just from a big brother perspective. It's really about what your kid interested in with all this time that they're spending in front of a computer. A lot of parents who talk about it, like in the real world, how parents talk about where their kids go. So we will be working with partners to leverage that weekly um, email. So Scholastic is an example of working with Scholastic, for example. And, and if your child is searching interested in dinosaurs, then you can recommend great books and products about dinosaurs. So for us, it's about really leveraging a unique relationship from the kids using Kidzui and parents having that digest weekly. Again, relevant and valuable. And, and then, just one second, I want to give Don just one a chance. You, you guys are doing a lot with sponsors in unique ways, and you're getting them involved in causes and a lot of things that are richer on these issues. So just talk about that for a second, and we'll get to the next one. Well, um, as far as I, we do have on all of the causes, and, and each one, it is generally sponsored. We give them particular, we will give them a homepage takeover, or we will let them sponsor a battle. Um, Things in that line. We are uh, we are 100 percent advertising revenue. But it's a matter of doing it right. Just make sure with Kappa that you really are doing right. So if you're sharing information with advertisers, third parties, you better make sure that you're disclosing the parents' data. Vanessa, um, I also think there's a really valuable opportunity for brands because of the matchup generation. You know, um, brands that have uh, captured that, like Nike, when they offered their brand to be able to take music for kids to use some of the Nike commercials and make their own music. Kids really owned it because they felt like they were able to sort of take the Nike brand and make it their own. So that's a really great opportunity. Putting some of their tools out there and letting kids do what they want with them, that really helps them um, get passionate about what they're trying to. Right, and one of the things, I mean, working with Microsoft Xbox to bring young voices to what it is, bringing families to the table, that's relevant because I get families more involved in safety. I'm working with a very large mobile technology manufacturer on creating buzz around what teens want to do. So if you can talk to those who are really experts on what teens and younger kids are doing, you can tailor the need of the sponsor, the trusted brand, to what the right guys can do. So whether it's a white-labeled social network or virtual gaming site that you can do, whether it's games that are just fun, whether it's something that's viral, whether it's a partnership with a trusted um, cause, there are a million different ways out there, and finding the right partner and the right advisors is crucial, and these guys on the table are it. So thank you very much. Talk to them. They know what you're talking about. And look for a lot of new things that are hitting over the next two months. I'm very excited. This is the time, finally, for you and kids. Thank you all.